Hello, Mayhem Makers. I'm Mindy with Quilting Mayhem. Uh, welcome to Knitted Star Week 2, uh, Part A. There's a lot of parts to this quilt, so um, that's why you joined the sew along, so I can help you out with it. And I'm going to try to keep it as simple as possible, but this one's just got a lot going on. So uh, definitely a video you may want to go back and review uh, a couple times. I'm going to try to be a little more high tech today. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> Could get interesting, but it's Friday. We'll see what happens. Um, so for you guys, start out with, uh, hopefully you've done all your cutting. Grab the pieces you're going to need. So kind of as I recommended uh, last week, I went through and highlighted the size of quilt I was doing and the style so that I could keep myself uh, organized as to what pieces I needed for each step as I went. Uh, so the highlighter was my friend. I usually don't like marking patterns. I don't know why, uh, but this one, it's, it's kind of a necessity. So uh, make sure you're just double checking the pieces you're grabbing, double checking the colors. Uh, I know I was a little thrown off because uh, the pictures going on in this pattern, of course, is showing a dark background and the star as a light color. And of course, I have the opposite. My star is a color and my background is light. So just visually threw me for a loop uh, as I went. So that's why highlighting and all that um, was definitely key uh, just to keep myself straight. So. For this, you have uh, what they're calling row, uh, what is it, A, A, C, and D that we're doing strata for, and then there's two rows that are just solid strips. Um, so start out simply, row A is, uh, I'm using a white on white background, and then um, because I'm doing what they call the traditional, so I'm using multiple fat quarters, um, I'm just starting out, my sample is going to be of just one color fabric, and that's this teal print that I've got going on here. So you're just going to put right sides together along the long sides, definitely making sure that you're matching each end of your block, okay? That's going to be key because if you end up with it too short on the end or too far, you potentially are going to get some waving in your strata and... Um, you don't want that. So definitely make sure you're starting with both the beginning and the end lined up and then just take it to your machine. So your quarter inch seam um, and press. I, of course, uh, always press open or 90% of the time press open. If you uh, like pressing one direction, this is definitely one I'd say press to the dark side, um, but pretty simple. You just go give it a good sew. and then press it. Uh, now, row C is essentially the same thing, uh, except for it's using three pieces. And I've already sewed those, so you can see what they look like. So definitely making sure you're starting matching and ending matching so that your strata stays nice and straight is the big key. No, oh my Lord, if you can hear my dog in the background, I'm just gonna apologize right now. She's not happy because uh, the family's got a lot going on, which just drives her crazy. So my apologies. Hopefully you can't hear her and it's just driving me crazy. So each strata, is that's what you're going to do. So A, I'm going to press open. This is uh, not even in order. Looks like that's D, C. Okay. All of them going. So the real key to this, besides making sure you're starting, I'm going to tilt my camera so you don't have to watch me anymore. Let's see if I can do this maybe. Oh no, Facebook's going to mess with me. I thought I was going to be able to switch cameras in between. <laughs> Wrong. Well, that kind of sucks. So I may have to get creative here because the next really important step is the cutting. So, give that a press, and then we're gonna figure out how to improvise. This is totally why we call it mayhem, because 
the cutting part of your strata. So each one of these is going to get cut into four segments. So you're going to cross cut them as they call it. And you're going to take your ruler, you know me and my creative grid ruler. So this is my little four and a half by an eight and a half. This is my best friend of rulers. Um, <laughs> we're going to get creative. What you want to make sure you do, let's see, I'm going to lay it down first, is I line up lines along my strata. That's not real perfect. Understand on my mat, it will look a little better. So I'm going to make sure that two of the lines, and it really doesn't matter in the ruler. I'm just trying to make sure that these lines are staying straight. And then what I'll do is I'll go trim up this end and then start cutting my one and a half inch strips. Now, keeping in mind, every time I cut a one and a half inch strip, I'm going to make sure that this piece in the middle stays straight. If it starts to go wonky, what I do is kind of shift the ruler till it's kind of straight again. I'll clean off the wonky piece and then cut again. There is enough in this that you can do some small bits of trimming along the way, um, but not huge. So if you do a big whoopsie cut in it, your ruler geeks or whatever, uh, you may have to uh, make a whole nother strata. But otherwise, um, hopefully just a little bit of cleaning sometimes because they're not always straight. Um, these lines, sometimes you get just a little bit of whoops in it. Your seam just kind of geeked. Uh, and that's okay because you can just clean it up as you go. So what I'll do is trim this edge. And like I said, so I have lines six and seven following the strip. And then I clean it up so it's nice and straight. And then I'm just going to take, and I always use my ruler to, to measure. What's nice about these rulers is they have half inch and full inch marks. I just can't do them upside down is my problem. Um, so we'll see how this goes. Okay. You'd think on a Friday it'd go a little better. So what I'll end up doing is laying it on the mat. I will then line my clean side up on this one and a half marking, which once it's on the map, mat, it's gonna look like this. Okay, so one and a half on my straight edge and then I'm going to cut. Okay, and then I'm just going to keep cutting as long as everything lines up nice and pretty. So you're going to have little segments that look like this guy, okay? Four of these from each section, so um that way in the end you'll be able to make the actual a block and the actual the a block is just a corner of this um and i debated waiting and just having you cut sew your strata and cut them and have me show you how to make a block next week um and that may be what i do because there's just so much going on with this quilt and I want to take the beginning of it kind of slow for you so that um, we can kind of speed up further down the road because you'll get kind of used to it. You'll get comfortable with it. And the rest of it, you'll take off running and be like, yeah, 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 we know where you're doing because it just keeps being the same process. You create a strata, you create your cross cuts, and then you put your blocks together. Um, but I just want to kind of get you warmed up into it. So I've cut two strips. I just go back and double check, make sure uh, that we're still straight. And we're looking pretty straight, um, but I may trim it up. So I'll just lay it down. Yep, and I actually have. I've gotten a little bit off, because that's just how it goes. Um, and so I'm just gonna trim a little, I mean, literally what I call little schnibbles. See if you can see those little tiny babies. I just trim that smidge off so that my line is straight again, okay, because it was getting a little wonky, and then um, do my one and a half inch cuts. Um, you may think it's a little overkill to be this precise, but trust me, I've had enough quilts that went wavy, wonky, um, and it just ends up just really irritating you in the end. And uh, our goal this year is happy quilting uh stress-free quilting right um so i rather you take the extra steps now trimming them up making sure everything's nice and straight and pretty 
so in the end, you're not like, why don't my blocks match? Why is nothing working together? Why does it look like this puckery, wavy, hot mess? Nobody likes wavy, hot messes. So what you'll do is, so for each of the ones, so row A, you're going to create and then cross cut. And then row C, uh, same thing. This one's row C. Now that I'm looking at my stuff, um, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to take it, line it up, match those lines in there, trim up my edges, and cut four across. And then um, row D. Apparently made an extra. I don't know why. Uh, so there's three of these. You're going to cross cut them, make your strips, and then what you'll do is lay them out per this diagram. So you have your plain strip and then row it goes in order, right? You, oh, you have A is the one we just cut, B is plain, and then you have C and D, which are the next two stratas, and then E is plain. And you're just going to sew them together to be a block. Make sure you lay them out. Continue to lay them out as you sew them together um, because I don't know how many times I turned pieces around because I thought I was like sewing them all together and somehow somewhere it got turned. Like I said, this was just a little extra special. The reward is totally worth it in the end, um, but just take that time. Take it slow. Take it easy. This is definitely not a just power through and get it done type of quilt really because um, you want to make sure your head's in the game for this. So that's my tutorial for part A. Um, I may do another video just to show you how to put the A block together. Like I said, uh, maybe I'll do that midweek next week and then that way we'll uh, move on to part B because part B has a lot of strata involved. A lot of lot of strata um, and it'll have a lot going on uh, just to get the block together because that'll be the main parts of the block and if you're doing more than just one block um, it just it's a lot to to put together not complicated just a lot a lot of pieces to get all those blocks going so I think that's what I'll do I'll get you another video just to kind of keep you going check in with you guys if you have questions on the cutting let me know um, because I can do I can do this again and just make sure I have my other camera going that's looking down because I thought it was going to let me be high tech and of course it didn't because why would it? Uh, but as you know, reach out to me, call me at the shop, email me, reach out to me through the group, message me, whatever you need. I just ask questions. Don't be afraid to ask questions. That's what I'm here for. Um, but otherwise, get your strata together. It's just one of each per block. So one of row A, one of row uh, C, one of row D for each block. So if you're doing one block, it's just one set of each. If you're doing multiples like I did where it's uh, all the fat quarters, it's going to be one set per colorway. Um, and if you're new to quilting, I would definitely do uh, one colorway at a time. Okay, just to keep it simple, um, and, and keep it organized to keep your colors all the way you want them to be. So happy Friday, everybody. Um, we're just, we'll get through this. It just may be uh, a few more videos to keep you going, which it's fine with me because you're having to put up with uh, all my mayhem, which thank you. I appreciate it. Happy Friday and uh, keep on stitching guys.